Thank you for choosing MIY Outdoor Blinds. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to install your crank and clip blinds. Have your order form and grid paper drawing handy. You would have had this when you first measured and ordered your blinds. If you need help at any point, hit the My Support button on our website for extra support. Step 1. Mark the position of your blind. It is important to make sure your blind is installed level. Find the shortest side on your MIY order form. In this video, it is on the left-hand side. Measure from the ground up and draw a reference mark at this height. Using a string or laser measure, transfer this height to the opposite side. Then mark the correct level. On most occasions, the patio beam is level and can be used as a reference point to mark the brackets to be installed level. Please note, if you have ordered a back angle, you will need to install it before installing the blind. Fix the back angle every 400 to 500 millimetres with the correct fixings. Step 2. Installing your brackets. When installing the operational side bracket, the crank gearbox needs to be attached first. Once you have had the gearbox adjusted to the correct angle, tighten the bolts using a 4mm Allen key. Mark out where your brackets will be fitted. If they are being applied to steel or timber, simply drill the marked points with a 1 8 drill bit. Now fix the bracket to the post using the correct tech screw. For installation into brick and mortar, pre-drill holes with a 6mm masonry drill bit. Then hammer green plugs into the holes. Now fix the bracket into place using the correct tech screw. Step 3. Installing the blind. Before installing the blind, unpack the blind and get it into the correct position. Unwind the blind approximately 600 millimeters as this makes the installation a little easier to manage. It is always easier to do when you have someone holding the other end. So, find yourself a buddy. First, push the operational side of the blind into the gearbox. Then place the pin to the opposite side of the blind, making sure that the grooves of the pin are facing outwards. This allows the pin to slide smoothly onto the mounting plate of the bracket. Now place the R-clip through the two small holes to secure the pin. If your blind is motorised, make sure the wire is pointing up or towards the desired location. This will make it easier when connecting the blind to the power source. Now place the C-clip to lock in both the motor and bracket. Once secured, wind the blind down with your crank handle. If your blind is motorised, you'll need to refer to the programming instructions provided on our website. When the blind is connected to power and programmed, you can continue on to the next stage. Step 4. Installing your setting points. Once you have all your blinds installed, it is now time to work out your desired setting points. For crank blinds, there are three different ways to fasten your blind. Dog clips and saddles. These fixings are used to fix your blind to the wall or a post, as seen in this application. Straps and staples. These fixings are used when installing a roof to fence blind or to the floor when there is no post, like this application. Straps and floor plates. Floor plates are used where staples can be a tripping hazard. Please note, we have plenty of photos on the My website to show the different types of fixings and real applications. It's important that you work out where your fixing points will be. In this case, we are fixing the blind to a post on the left side and to the brick wall on the right side. When installing dog clips, the fixing point needs to go towards the outside of the bottom rail, as demonstrated in this video. This will allow your dog clips to reach the saddle on the post or wall. Fix the saddles to the right spot by marking and pre-drilling the holes. Using the self-tapping screws provided, fasten one side of the saddle. Place the dog clip into the saddle and fasten the second screw. Repeat this process for all your blinds. Next, you need to mark out the setting heights on the post and or the wall. 
you can use the bottom rail to mark out your setting heights, making sure both sizes are balanced and level to ensure your fabric will tension evenly. Pre-drill your holes, then attach the saddles with the correct fixings. When fixing to a fence or the floor using straps and staples, the fixing points should be located approximately 200 millimetres in from each side of the bottom rail, as demonstrated in this video. Please note, when using straps instead of dog clips, you will need to use staple brackets rather than saddles. Installing a floor plate. Wind the blind to the floor with the staples already attached to the bottom rail. Line the floor plate to the staples, making sure they line up parallel to one another. Then mark out the floor plate as shown in this video. Drill the fixing points and remove enough material to give the necessary clearance for the floor plate to sit flush with the floor. Fix the floor plate with the correct fixings. Apply the dog clips or straps to the fastening points on both sides of the blind. Now that the fasten points have been attached, place the crank handle into the gearbox and wind the blind back to tension the fabric. If your blind is motorised, just press up and the blind will automatically tension on itself. We hope you have enjoyed the installation process. Remember, there are loads of support options online, including photos, questions and answers, and our online support team. We also value feedback and positive reviews for our future clients looking at the DIY option. Now, sit back and enjoy all the benefits of your new outdoor blinds from MIY.